yesterday you completed your European option with uh, three stages. So in our today's class, we are going to uh, solve the same exercise which uh, we did using the European option. How that can be if it is the case of American option. That is the last exercise which you had sent me uh, after solving you know, the option question with three stages, right? So the same thing today we are looking at to understand how we can go solving that if it is a case of American option. Now, as we understand uh, European option uh, and American option, the primary difference between uh, them is in an American option, you get an uh, opportunity to exit the market before the expiration, before the final due date. That is, here in this case, the investors are allowed to exit the market before the maturity period. That's a very basic nature or the very basic difference between an European option and American option. So with respect to flexibility, this American option gives an investor a little more flexible uh, investment opportunity. The person can exit and uh, maybe he can think of another investment as per the movements in the market, maybe as he decided. So that is the basic aspect which we will be taking care when we go with the computation purpose also. Because in the European option, maybe if the maturity period is uh, after one month or two months or three months, we are bothered only uh, those reaching to the stage of the expiration and then working back to understand the present value. That's what we did when we were solving with the European option. Now in American option, the, the basic nature is we would be doing all the steps as we did that is reaching to the final node as in the case of European option. Then coming back, there lies the difference. The difference is each pre-node or pineal node will be having an option to exit at the maturity or maybe at the present position, at the present value. So that's a basic difference. We would be having two computation, one based on what is the option price as in if it is exiting, if it is being considered to be uh, exit uh, or to, to come out of the market uh, final, uh, on the final period, okay? And what is the value if the investor decides to exit at this point and the highest of that would be taken care of course the investor will be since you have an option to exist uh, if exit or come out of the market before the maturity date the investor would be very vigilant whether there is an opportunity whether the price is favorable for him to come out of the market likewise no so that is why the highest value whether is it uh, that uh, the investor is waiting till the maturity is good or if the investor is planning to exit at every you know, at the uh, at every point possible so that's actually the basic idea behind uh, computation of american option so in an american option in a nutshell we would be having two computations at the preceding um, notes Okay, at the preceding notes, there would be two computations. One, as per the uh, decision by the investor to exit before the maturity. And two, what will be the value if the investor decides to exit at the maturity. So this is what we are going to do it. And for your convenience, I've taken the same exercise so that you get to know the difference. So we are going with the same exercise which we had solved in our yesterday's class. Moving forward, so this is the same question where you have three time intervals on binomial string. So the same, the market price, that is the spot price is 120, the strike price is 130, the volatility being given is 30%. So this is how we're going to solve it. Now, before we go with the, uh, the steps involved in solving, first let's have a recap of what we had been doing in our European option and how it is different in an American option. As in the European option, we went with computation of up and down, every node. Suppose if you have three nodes, yes, what is the 
uh, up and node in each of these category. And then we went with computation of the option value for the final node. Final node uh, where we considered the spot price and the uh, strike price, right? Then we started moving to the preceding nodes, previous node. And there, uh, here, th there lies the difference, as I said, that's why I put in a red. Here, the highest of the option value from waiting till the maturity and option value from early exercise. The highest of these two values, that's the only difference. That's the only difference. The highest of these two values will be taken in case of an American option. Because as we understand, in American option, the investor is given with an option, with an opportunity or an option to exit before maturity. That's why we go with computation. Now then, waiting till maturity computation, we already know because that's what we did when we were going with the European option. That is calculation of the expected option value. And then uh, what we did is we found out the present value of the same thing, computation of the present value of the expected option value. Now, in uh, in an American option, there is one more stage where uh, which is early exercise, and it's very easy. You use the same formula, right? You use the same formula, the spot price and the strike price. Now, the spot price would be the price as indicated at that node. Okay, that would be your spot price. The price. I'll tell you. I'll show you the picture. Uh, I have drawn the initial use and lease so that I'm going to show you. So uh, in, in this case, what we would be doing is we will compute, okay, we will compute one as per the uh, European option that is expiration at the maturity date, another one when you're planning to exit at that time. So the formula for that is same as we go with computation for the preceding node. The only difference here is SN is n to period spot price n to period pro spot price is nothing but the period the spot price which we have kept which we have found out using the formula uh, and that particular node so that is the only difference and the highest of these value whether it is expiration at the higher uh, at the expiry or at this particular node whichever is highest is taken as the option value. That's the only difference which you have to do when you go with an American option computation. It's very simple. Once you know the European option computation, that's why we took little time to make you sure with how do we go with European option computation. Now you can see here, see here, I put how it comes, no? When uh, your, uh, your S, SU, SU and uh, SD square, SU cube and SD3. This is three step. First step, second step, three, third step. And uh, till here, that is reaching till here, computation of the value of the final nodes, same as European option. Okay. Now, the only difference that is going to happen is when you try to move from here. Here, when you are looking at, we have to go with two types of computation. One is if expiration is happening on maturity. That we know that option value is equal to, how did we go with, we multiplied with probability and one minus probability to arrive at option value. And then what uh, we actually did is, we found out the present value of it. We know it. That's in case of a European option. Same thing, we will do it, uh, anticipating the uh, exit during the maturity period. The second thing what we would be doing is we would be computing the, the as you did know, the, uh, the option value of the final node, the same formula SN minus K, maximum of SN minus K and zero, which we would be doing here. And we will compute what is the value as per that. Okay, say for example, you got uh, maybe uh, D, the option value. We have the values with us, which I'm going to show you, but for the time being, say suppose if D, you got uh, 12 and uh, uh, by the second method, you got 12.1. That is by if expiration is before maturity, you got 12.1, then the highest of that will be taken as the option value for D node, that is 12.1. Now, one thing what you have to remember is when we use the same formula that is SN minus K, here SN, 
spot price at the nth period is 142.70. As we did here, it is 142.7. And if we are going to do here, it would be 130.86 minus 130. So that is what we have to take care. And we go with using the same formula as we went for computation of option value at the final note. So we will have two values from that the highest would be taken as the nodal value for uh, American auction. Okay, so that is the only difference and then we go with computation till the final stage and uh, the present value being computed as we do for the uh, European auction. Right, so that is how we are. Let's look at a practical example. Now, uh, as you know, uh, we have D. We, uh, till here it is correct. We did when the, we uh, we went with the calculation of uh, G H I J same as the previous exercise. All right now for us, what is important is D E F C and B. Right. So for that, the preceding dot, the formula remains to be like this: option value from waiting till maturity. We already got that. That is thirteen point seven eight. That is based on European option. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to do that by using uh, if the investor is what will be the option value if the investor is going to exit before maturity. So this is one more step that is added to that in case of American option. So what we will do, we will go with this formula where maximum of uh, spot price minus K or zero. So in this case, in the first node D, the spot price, if the spot price at nth period is 142.70 minus 130 or 0. So definitely it is 12.70 because this is highest. The difference between this part is highest. So what we will do, we will make up a decision. What is the value for the node D? What will be there? We will go with the highest of these two whether exiting at the maturity or uh, as you say exiting uh, premature that is before the expiry uh, expiration of this particular contract so in this case it is exiting at maturity is better so we go with 13.78 uh, itself for the value of d no difference so this is the step which will be there applicable in case of an american auction now remember, this is with respect to call option. The formula will be ULTA, K minus SN if it is with respect to, that's the only difference when it is happening with the put call, put, put option. Now this is a call option, the formula we have learned, if it is a put option, it is just the opposite, the principle is also opposite, opposite. we know that. But when we are talking about American option, there is a, that is same for call as well as put. American option, the concept remains same, that we compute the value at the exit period or before the maturity. We have that. The highest of that will be the value for node D. Same as the case we do for E also. Here also in this case, we see that the difference because here the spot price is 120 and the strike price is 130. See, in case of E, it is 120. All right. So this person is not going to uh, exercise that option. So the value should be zero. So the highest of uh, these two, that is waiting till maturity and the option exercise. Option exercise is zero in this case. So definitely exiting during the maturity is much better than uh, the, the option as we say as, uh, no, uh, of exiting till maturity is much better than exiting before the maturity. That's why we keep the value of E at 0.446, right? Now, the next node for us is F. Let's go with F computation. So, as you know, the value for computing, you no, know, uh, waiting till maturity is zero. And uh, we know that here also. Value here, F, here it is 100.91. So in this case, uh, uh, 
in this case it is 100.91 see i have put here so exit the spot price and the strike price the strike price is 130 and the spot price at the end period is 100.91 the chance of this person's uh, exercising the contract is not there so the value would be zero that is exiting till uh, waiting till maturity and exiting both have the value of zero there is no difference so we go with the value zero now coming to the next node as we call as b here right b of, of course we know that that is going to be a positive value so option value for waiting till uh, maturity which we had gone with computation is zero but option value from earlier uh, no no i'm sorry sorry here option value for waiting till maturity is 7.41 and uh, here the option value from early exercise as we compute 130.86 minus 130 which is 0.86 so definitely uh, this value we would be taking care that is 7.41 which is higher so here also in this case exiting at the maturity is much better than uh, before uh, or taking up a decision to exit before the maturity B. Now let's look at C. C here, as we know, the value uh, 102.04. So it's sure that we are not going to, you no, know, option value waiting till maturity is 0.23. Option value from early exercise here, this person is not going to exercise because its spot price, this asset is available at a lesser price right so uh, the value should be zero so again uh, waiting till maturity is much better than exiting before the maturity 0.23 becomes a value for c now we are going with the computation of a of course as we did for the others we use the same formula option value for b into p option value for c into one minus p where we arrive at the value uh, as you say 4.0 Zero, 01 and then we compute the present value of that by using the formula minus r raised to e raised to minus r into t and we get the value as 3.98 so uh, in a nutshell uh, the, the the primary difference this is the final binomial tree which you will be getting and uh, as you can see in this case uh, the person can wait till maturity because exiting before maturity does not give him any additional uh, return uh, as we have found out in our answer. So he he, he, he can be he, uh, no, exiting before maturity also um, gives him the same return. So he can decide both the cases he is okay with uh, exiting before maturity. If he finds that, uh, yes, uh, th that condition uh, is is available for American option. So he's just checking. But as we found in this case, for this, for this particular uh, example, both are okay. The bo Both the values exiting before the maturity as well as uh, uh, exiting on the expiration, on the date of expiration it remains to be same. So this person can be indifferent towards both these conditions. He can avail any of that as he wants because both are giving him same return, right? So this is actually a uh, uh, computation of option value based on uh, binomial tree method if it is the case of American option. Now I'll just conclude it with the steps what we had been discussing. The only difference which you can observe is, is with respect to computation of preceding values where you will have two aspects which we which we need to be considered depending on the nature of the option one is computation of uh, option value when we are de decided to keep the asset till maturity and second one computation if our decision is to exit before maturity so that's the only stage where there is difference between european option and american option now we go with the steps as we did. We, we went with calculation of U and D. Then we went with computation of uh, the final node, option value for the final node using maximum of S minus K uh, or zero, whichever is highest. And uh, we started moving backwards, calculation of the value of the preceding nodes. And in that we went with the formula, like option value into the probability factor, right? So in that we went with calculation of probability uh, factor also. Here, uh, in this preceding value, you have two options. 
either to accept it uh, at the date of maturity or maybe you have uh, exit prior to the maturity. That's why we have put highest of the option value from waiting till the maturity or option value from early exercise. Highest of the value to be taken because an investor always would be looking for a high value because he is making an investment. He is doing a sacrifice. He expects a return. And when he expects a return, it will be the best of the condition. So that's why we take highest of the option value. And then we compute both in both the ways. As in case of European option, he is decided to wait till maturity. In that case, we go with the same method like computing the preceding node and then converting that to the present value. Then the second is as we computed for the N node, here it is considered to be the N node. If, if, if so, the investor has decided to exit during that, uh, that node, maybe when he is at that period. Right. Then that is the N node. That is why we don't go with computation of the present value also in that because that is the present time where he is planning to exit. So from there, we have to work backwards. So we use the same formula as we use for the preceding node. But the SN spot price and the nth period is the spot price that is indicated in the nodal coin. So we compute both these values. We compare these values. The highest of that will be taken as option value. And that's it. That is what we call as early exercise. Then we reach to the final, the, the innermost, the starting point to arrive at the option value. We go with computation of, in this particular case, we go with computation of option value at, the, at this point, right? This point. Uh, and then we finalize. So the, we will, the final tree will be like this. We have to complete the exercise by drawing this final binomial tree. So the final tree would look like this, where uh, you will be taking care of uh, this final node, A, what is the option value standing at the zero position when you are planning to make an investment? What is the option value when I'm deciding whether to go with this investment or not? That's why you are reaching to the zero period. That's what we call as present value. So in this case, we reach to the present value, we make the same decision. And in this particular exercise, you can see that there is no difference between the exit point, uh, uh, maybe before the maturity and also at the expiration. It remains same. The value remains same. So the, uh, the investor can be indifferent. He can you know, ask the uh, environment conditions, as the time permits, or as he wish, he can do whether to exit before or he can decide whether to exit before or maybe at the maturity that's uh, it's it's same for him in his case in this particular question it is same because of the market movements uh, maybe after three months or four months the condition can be different but the maturity date of this particular option is for three months right so he is having three period and he is comparing the situation so in a nutshell uh, the primary difference in computation part we know the concept American option, uh, we have the investor is provided with, of course, in India, uh, with respect to index, American option is not there. Uh, we have only European option, but some stock uh, and uh, in many other stock exchanges also, they go with the, the American option. So if that is available, then there is a computational difference when we are applying the binomial tree method. That's what we were trying to discuss in our today's class. And here the primary difference lies in the area where we are computing the option value for the preceding nodes. The option value for the preceding nodes will be computed on the basis of two facts. That is the highest of the value, which is computed uh, as expecting that this investor is going to uh, exit on the final maturity date or it is compared with uh, the if he has decided to exit at that particular period, whichever is highest will be taken care in uh, you in SPK, as we say in American option, which is a little different from European option, right? The rest of all remains same. The formula remains same. The computation logic remains same. Uh, and uh, whether it is pull, put or call option, all these remain same. The only aspect which you have to remember is computation of value for the preceding node.